the Battle of the Nile on the 1st of August 1798 may be counted one of Nelson's greatest victories. A daring assault on Napoleon's invasion fleet at anchor in Egypt's Abukir Bay, with the British driving into the shallows between the shore and their enemy. The French thought it impossible, but it wasn't, and the annihilation was absolute, scotching their bid to snatch Egypt away from its Ottoman overlord, Sultan Selim III of Turkey. In his delight at the victory, Selim granted Nelson his greatest award, a diamond-encrusted turban jewel called a chelink, along with other magnificent gifts. The chelink was a rare honour indeed, even rarer for infidels. His Imperial Majesty, the powerful, formidable and most magnificent Grand Seigneur, has destined as a present, in his Imperial name, to the said Admiral a diamond aigrette, chelink, and a sable fur with broad sleeves, beside 2,000 zequins to be distributed among the wounded of his crew. A turban jewel of this nature, and this was absolutely the highest ranking object uh, in the Sultan's treasury, uh, was a highly precious object. There is no record of an Ottoman Sultan awarding any non-Muslim recipient of such a jewel until Nelson. So he was making an extraordinary and unique gesture at that time, which of course um, informs us of how important he saw the victory. When you visited the Sultan, if you were lucky enough to have an audience with the Sultan in the top capi in uh, Constantinople, he was always seated on a low bed surrounded by his turbans displaying his turban jewels as a method of projecting his power, his wealth, his importance. And it was in that very spirit that Nelson wore his chelink, displayed by special permission on his naval bicorn hat, forming part of his coat of arms as a peer of the realm. That, however, had to be formally arranged with the keepers of the flame of British nobility, the Royal College of Arms. A drawing of the jewel, newly discovered by them, shows how magnificent the chelink was. So this, this image shows a radically different jewel to the jewel that we're familiar with, or have always been familiar with. Uh, and if we assume, as we do, that this was drawn from life, probably life-size, mm. this is our very, very best and most detailed record of the jewel in the original form that it was in Nelson's lifetime. I would suspect that it's, um, it's an original from the actual jewel and I think it was probably in the college uh, in somebody else's files at an earlier date and probably relates to the, uh, the painting of the arms of Lord Nelson's brother, Earl Nelson, when uh, Horatio Nelson's arms were transferred to him in 1806. So if this is the best representation of the Chilenk in or near Nelson's lifetime, how did it then appear in Nelson's coat of arms? Well, we've got in this other book over here the register copy that we have at the College of Arms of the Nelson arms as they were when they were transferred to Nelson's brother, William Nelson, who became Earl Nelson. Wow. And here, you see, is the Chelink. Though the chelink was the symbol of an eminent dignitary, it was not with dignity that it was treated, following Nelson's death at the Battle of Trafalgar. After many long years in and out of the public eye, it was a star attraction at the opening of the National Maritime Museum in 1937. But just over a decade later, it was stolen by a London cat burglar, never to be seen again, until now. Here, at a workshop in the heart of London, Nelson's famous chelink is reborn. For jewellery expert Joanna Hardy, this is a moment of great excitement and significance. This project is absolutely fabulous and I feel incredibly honoured and I'm very excited about watching something that is being made traditionally as if it was being made in the late 18th century. 
this jewel is going to be incredibly important. I think it's a real gift to the nation, actually, because it is, it is something that we can, we can learn from. And because we've deconstructed it, to construct it, um, we will then, it, it will give us an understanding of other jewels that we have in, in other various collections. And this will be a very, very significant jewel. Also speaking straight out of history, locks of St. James's, the famous hatters, with a new Baikal naval hat for the Chelink, to the very measurements that Nelson left with them. As ready to wear as the day it adorned the victor of Trafalgar himself, as ready now as his great jewel reborn, Sultan Selim's gift of the Chelink.